This video will guide you through the steps required to enable a JAR application for live monitoring by the Health Centre. The first thing we're going to do is to launch the Health Centre from within the IBM Support Assistant. For information on how to install the IBM Support Assistant or the Health Centre, you need to watch video HC02, Installing ISA and Health Centre, and that will take you through all the things you need to do to get to this point. All of the information needed to set up an application for monitoring can be accessed through the Help System, but we provided a shortcut to the relevant pages here on the Connection Wizard. So clicking on this link will take me to the Help System. Now the Help is telling us that before we can use the Health Centre to monitor a JAR application, we must install the Health Centre agent and then start the application with monitoring enabled. Now the Health Centre agent is a small collection of files that need to be installed within your IBM JVM, and they provide the mechanism by which the Health Centre GUI obtains information about your JAR application. Without the Health Centre agent files installed, there is no way for the Health Centre GUI to get the information back from your JAR application. It's a two-stage procedure to enable your JAR application for live monitoring. The first is to install the Health Centre agent, and the second is to start your JAR application with monitoring enabled. So let's click on the link in step one, installing the Health Centre agent into an IBM JVM, and follow the instructions there. So here we're being told to download the agent package by clicking the link corresponding to the Java version you're running. Now I'm running a Windows 86 32-bit version of Java, so I'm going to click on that link and then save the file to my hard disk. Done. Scrolling down the rest of the help, we see a section on installing the agent. And this tells us we need to extract the agent package you've downloaded into the parent directory of the JRE that I'm going to run against. For example, on Windows, if the JRE I'm running in is in C Program Files IBM Java 6 JRE, I need to extract the contents of the agent package into C Program Files IBM Java 6. To do the unzip, I'm going to fire up a command prompt and do everything from there. Now I downloaded the file to C temp, so I just check the files there. Now my Java is installed in program files. IBM Java 6. So I want to install the agent into this directory. So I'm simply going to unzip it over the top of where I am. And then just to check that the unzip has actually worked, I'm going to make sure the helpcenter.jar file is in jerry libxt. which it is. Now turning back to the help shows us that step one is now complete. So moving on to step two, start the application with monitoring enabled, click on the link for configuring application to enable monitoring. We've just done the prerequisite step of installing the health center agent, so you can move straight on to the procedure for actually enabling it. Now to enable the agent, we have to specify command line options appropriate for your JVM version. And these options are described in the platform requirements section. So clicking on that link, the command line options are all based around the level of Java you're actually running. Now I'm running Java 6 SR4, and I can check that by going back to the command prompt and typing in Java minus version. Going back to the table in the help and now looking up Java 6 SR4, it shows me exactly what the command line option is I need to type in. In this case, it's minus agent lib health center minus x trace output equals perfmon percent p out. So I now have enough information to be able to start my application with the health center agent enabled. Now, currently, my application starts by just doing Java test application. And that gives a message to the screen saying test program running. So I'll cancel that and relaunch it with all the health center agent options enabled. My application should start, but this time should show additional information to show that the Health Center agent has started along with it. And here we can see an info message saying the Health Center agent has started on port 1972, and now the test program is also running again. So now we've 
installed the agent into the JVM. We've also enabled my application to be monitored by the health center, as we can see the health center agent has now started. So this means we can now go back to the health center itself, close the help, and get it to connect to my application. Once you've closed help, you'll be presented back with the connection wizard GUI. Click next, you'll be presented with a screen that will allow you to either change the host name or the port. Now we know the port is 1972 because that's the message that came up when we started our application with the health center enabled. I'm going to choose not to scan the next 100 ports because I know the exact port number the health center agent is listing on. Clicking next will cause the health center GUI to try and connect to port 1972 on localhost. And if all being well, we should see localhost 1972 appear in the box, which it has. So then clicking finish will make health center GUI connect your application and start monitoring live data. Now that we have a connection, the health center is able to start pulling data across from an application displaying the status of each of the areas we can monitor. So that's it all done. The health center is now correctly monitoring your application and is able to give recommendations and analysis based on the data it's getting.